Welcome to both of you. Thanks they recently that. launched Investing Fix, 2Xs, and Investing Club for Women. Um, so, you know, quickly explain to me why. Karen, why, la why launch this platform? Well, actually, it was Jean's idea, and it was we want to create an environment that women can feel comfortable learning how to invest, even if they have no knowledge to start with, and ask the questions that they want to ask, and try to, we try to present it in a way that they can break it down and really sort of understand what you think, what one thinks about, for example, kind of thing I think about when I build a portfolio, but in an environment that's only women, sure. which actually is a very different vibe. And uh, that was sort of one crucial element of it. What, Gene, do you think are the main questions? Are they about stocks versus bonds, or is it tax, or is it, like, what it's, are the main? It's all over the place, actually, and yeah. we keep a chat running during these classes. They're live every other Monday night on Zoom. We've got hundreds of women building this portfolio together. We tee up stock ideas, mostly courtesy of Karen, and people vote on which ones get added really? to the portfolio. Yeah, very interactive. And then we talk about your personal finance questions. So everything from your 401k to IRA questions to annuities and the like. Well, I put some questions out to the Instagram followers that I have, some on social media, on Twitter as well. And here are a few of them. I'll run through them. They're probably pretty familiar. Um, the first one, Karen, is how do we take advantage if interest rates continue to rise? Uh, well, the most simple thing you could do is be short TLT or long TBT if you just really want to make a bet. Like Bill that, Ackman? That's not well, working out so well today. Not today, but, you know, after a move that it's had this week, it's not, it's not crazy that it would back up a little bit. That would sort of be one way. But I sort of think about the question as, why are rates rising? Are they rising because the economy is doing well and um, things are growing? That's generally good, and so there's a lot of places that you could be, right? Totally. Like travel, things like that. Are they because the Fed is really fighting inflation? Then you have to be, that's a different kind of answer. Yeah. But you always need to look, I think, at a company's balance sheet. If they have debt, that's, that's trouble. Great point. And right? to unpack why, and then also uh -huh. to kind of look at who would, you know, stand to gain and who would stand to lose. Yep. Um, another question, Gene, that came in, this is an interesting one, was why can't unemployed or retired people have access to FSAs? They need them more, this uh, it person seems says. seems completely unfair, but FSAs... Or flex spending accounts. Flex spending accounts are offered only through employers. And the way they work, if you don't exhaust the money in your FSA each year that money actually reverts to your employer. No. So unless it does. It does it, not. It does. I've, I mean, I've yeah. often then reverted mine back. Okay. So Interesting. unless they want to change the tax code, that's not changing anything. I didn't too. realize that. All right. This one, Karen, kind of yeah. back to you. This person says, why bother investing in any stocks other than FANG? They're the only ones. <laughs> Time and again, they've outperformed. Uh, well, okay. That's a great question. I do have a lot of FANG exposure. Right. But we can think of a time last year, for example, where that wasn't the right place to be. I think that um, there's a lot of other things that don't get as much attention that are definitely worthy of investing in that. Um, if, but if you only have a very small portfolio that you want to build, that's fine. That's an OK way to go. But I think there's a lot of other things that work well. Also. Diversify. Diver well, actually, excellent point. Thank you for bringing that up. Diversification is really important, even if um, even if it's a small portfolio. Some mm -hmm. diversification is really important. One just thing I want to add about the club that I think is important. So we not only teach them like what what I look for when I look for investments, but also some of the knowledge that I've gained through being in this business a long time. They answer questions like, well, why if a company reported bad earnings does the stock go up? Oh, sure. Things like that. Learning about expectations. And, you know, sort of just market knowledge you get having made a lot of mistakes, right? Right. right. And how to keep your emo emotions that, that, yes. at bay, too, right. right? Karen keeps us all calm when we're not <laughs> feeling so calm. Right. And, by the way, if people want to join us, we would love to have them. It's at hermoney.com. Okay, great. So then the final question, which a lot of people are learning about Treasury Direct and, and thinking about owning treasuries for the first time. Gene, what are some implications of that? I mean, maybe is it tax efficient or, you know, like... Yeah, it can be incredibly tax efficient in terms of your portfolio. But you also have to ask yourself, are you going to be able to keep up with this pace of buying individual treasuries? Is this how you actually want to approach the bond component of your portfolio? Are you better off just going with a total bond market fund, knowing that you're never going to rebalance and calling it a day? Right. That was the question from Joe, Karen. You know, what about the T-bill and chill strategy? Uh, you know, I, I had never bought a T-bill. 
until the last year, and I, I'm Same. embarrassed to say I did not know how. I didn't either. I it's, know. it's not that easy. The, right. the website's it's, a little clunky. It's, it's very a little clunky. clunky, and I did the lame thing and end up, you know, just having a broker do it. But, <laughs> but uh, I, I never the risk reward at five and five point four three. I happen to remember was to, I, I never, you know, felt like. Wow, you there's a risk before. reward in treasuries like that that I, I haven't seen it in Exactly. Years. All right, we'll look forward to seeing So Monday night is the, uh, is the meeting? The yes. Zoom. Monday night? Look what <laughs> Zoom lets us do now. We could never have done before. Exactly. Yeah. Amazing. Jean Thanks Chomsky, for having us. Thank you for joining <laughs> you. me, Karen Feinerman. We really appreciate it today.